Hi, I'm Bob Schwedersky, SNAP Director from Minnesota. This is a stop on one of the three locations that I'm visiting today, doing outreach for those that may have been harmed by marks or have any information as to the crimes of child molestation uh, that he is known to have done throughout his whole life. This is the cornerstone of the church that Marx was at before they picked him up and dropped him on the unsuspecting families and children. St. John's Catholic Church, Hector, Minnesota. Nice modern looking building. This is St. Kalildi, can't even pronounce it, in Green Valley, Minnesota. This is the last assignment of the predator cleric, Father Marks. This town has at the most 20 houses in it. I noticed four signs that said dead end. Last assignment for Marx. He sat here for 10 years or longer, whatever it was. I have an interview here in about an hour with a reporter from the Marshall Independent. Uh, I'm looking forward to talking to him and to see what work the newspaper does because in 1994, they did an article about this guy and the abuse of children. And because of that article, a mother saw the article, contacted her son, and told him what she had read, and gave him the courage to subsequently file a lawsuit against this church diocese of New Orleans for the abuse that he had suffered and that discovery from three other names surfaced. Now in this case, in 1962, the bishop was told about abusing boys in Hector, Minnesota, St. John's Catholic Church. That bishop, Scheidwater, picked marks up and dropped him here on the unsuspecting families and children. The information I received from some of the victims are that over a period of time, there were upwards of 50 altar boys that Marx had contact with at this church. Here we are at my hometown church in Hector, Minnesota.
This is St. John's Catholic Church. That's the sacristy down there, but I'll, I'll get to that. This is appalling to me. Look at this sign. Reserve parking for a priest. How special do they think they are? There is not a parking problem in this town. I see that railing is still there. This sign was not here when I was growing up. There used to be a front step here. Going to the front entry. That's the wall the altar boys used to get lined up at and get groped before they were able to go home. What's the door to the confessional? This is where the altar boys cassocks used to be. Doors locked. This is the sacristy. That's the wall. The altar boys used to get lined up at and get groped before they were able to go home. That's the confessionals. This is. <laughs> Get abused by marks, and then the next week have to come to the confessional. Then and guess who the priest was? Entry to sacristy. The altar today. Entry to the office. And to the uh, rectory. This is the directory connected to the church. I'll walk around the building here, but I was abused numerous times in this building. Actually, those windows right there go to the bedroom where I was taken numerous times. Hi. Wow. Wow. Well, I think the camera's rolling. You, you know why I'm here, don't you? No, I'm not sure. Um, I'm one of those that was repeatedly sexually abused by Marks. Oh, okay. And a lot happened there. Ooh. That, what do you call that cross thing with the candle holder? You remember what the name of that thing is? Crucifix? Ah, there's a special name for it, I don't remember. There used to be, it might even be that one. There used to be one that hung on that wall. And when I was being abused, I would focus on that. And so I, that's how I survived. Sorry to bring up the news, but... I mean, since this is their home, I probably should have I understand. Okay at first. I understand.